Hello everyone, my name is Simon Kapoor and I warmly welcome you all to my channel English Made Easy. Today we are going to talk about the three smart tips that will help you to speak English fluently. Just like a native speaker, just as you want to speak fluently. Alright, so these tips are a kind of something that you need to follow for a period of 15 to 20 days. It's not something overnight achievable dream, okay, or overnight success. Uh, you have to practice them for a couple of days and these are super amazing. These are going to really help you to become an a, a fluent English speaker. So please stay until the end of the video. Watch the complete video because this is going to help you a lot. Now, let's get started. And before I start, I would request you to please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so that you do not miss out any of my latest upcoming videos. All right, so the tip number one is narrate an incident. Okay, so what is it? It is that you have to narrate any incident of your life, of your day, either to yourself or to anybody uh, with whom you can share that incident, okay? That incident could be anything. It could be something uh, that happened while shopping, something uh, you talk about, um, you talk, so suppose you talk to a salesman in a shop, and you argued with them or something other, maybe something happened in the job, maybe something happened with your business partner or in school or with friend or it could be any incident either from the past or from the present or something that you're going to do in the future. So you have to narrate that incident to yourself or to anybody else if that's shareable for a couple of 10 minutes every day. And that has to be in English completely, okay? And when you do this, this builds up so many good qualities in you, okay? Because you're doing it on a consistent basis for just 10 minutes. But these just 10 minutes are going to change the way you speak English. And these are going to change the way how fluent your, uh, you know, English speaking it becomes. All right. So it builds up so many habits. It builds a habit of speaking English. Now, when you are speaking English for 10 minutes every day, your uh, brain starts to open up and your mind starts to open up. You kind of, you kind of search for words, you kind of search for the phrases that how certain things in your language are said in English. Then, so it becomes a habit of speaking English. Now, speaking becomes, as English becomes, starts to become a part of your life. Then second thing is you're doing this thing every day. So it's going to increase your fluency. Something that we're doing on an everyday basis, it makes it, initially it is harder, then over a time, uh, it becomes easier and easier. So it will increase your fluency, all right? And then you and your brain, it becomes comfortable with the new language. The new language. It starts to, uh, you know, adopt the new language. It starts to adapt to it. This habit of narrating incident, uh, every day for 10 minutes is really going to bring fluency in your English speaking. Oh. So if I tell you my own personal experience regarding um, English learning, it was really, really difficult. It was really harsh. You know, I tell you one incident of my life and that was when I shifted from a very small mediocre school to a very high, highly advanced a school where competition was very high. And even the students in school, they knew how to do politics. So it was my exam and it was, I was okay. new. Examination paper was all in English and because the things were in English. So uh, at the time of learning my subjects, I faced difficulty and, and I faced difficulty understanding the questions. So the same happened with me when I was in my examination. I couldn't understand a few of the questions. So I stood up and I asked my teacher, oh, ma'am, can you please, um, translate this in Hindi. Can you explain me this question in Hindi? And everybody in the whole class just turned around and gazed me. And I felt so terrible. I felt like crying at that time. It was uh, disheartening for me. It really pinched my heart. And I thought like, oh, English is such a, uh, people have made it such an, you know, royal language that if you don't know it, you're considered like, oh my God, an alien. So it was really disappointing and since then I started to work on improving my English and you can see it today. I've, I've been teaching English for quite a long time over YouTube and I want to help people around me. 
so that they don't face such situations like I have faced because really in India it's a big it is considered a very you know status symbol if you are speaking English but for me it's just made a language and I think that the English learners as well as the people in India should consider it mere a language uh, it's not should it's not something that's that's a you know uh, representation of something intelligence no it's not like that so let's move on it's too much of the talk now with this let's move on to our tip number two and that is read English daily yes it's going to help you a lot in increasing your fluency how reading english helps you to know about the different types of english now what these are different types of english these are the english related to cooking related to sports lifestyle business now when um see while we are cooking food we use different vocabulary we use different way of describing how to make a uh, how to make something in the sports you might notice that there are, there are different vocabularies used in the sports and there are there is completely different way of explaining how the uh, players they play and how they swing their bat or something like that and then related to lifestyle it's very easy english that we conversate on a day-to-day -day basis it's very easy then there's business english that again has different phrases and different vocabularies so you need to read english of different different types so that your brain it knows the knowledge of different different kinds of uh, English words and the phrases so the source where you can uh, get all this information from is the newspaper okay so see the, the, these different English uh, types they have versatility they're different from each other their style is different the style of speaking is different and the tone is different and then the phrases are different and the words are completely different so that's why i'm focusing on reading english of different types here and the source again i told you it's only newspaper and like there is there are people on the youtube i have seen they say that everybody would recommend you to you know read from the newspaper no why because newspaper has different types of knowledge and information about the world and in different genres like it would uh, provide you the english related to sports english related to lifestyle related to business related to politics so you have a variety everything available in just one source and that's how it is so beneficial it is so fruitful to use so why go to other different different places why search for different different sources when there is only one source available and that's also so cheap just five rupees per paper so go ahead and use it and use it for your own benefit and increase your fluency levels all right now next is and this is the most important one be a self translator now what do i mean by be a self translator it means that you need to be yourself as a source of learning to speak english fluently all right so you must seek english around you you know watch the things around you while talking to somebody translate that in english in your mind okay translate the things yourself don't take help of the translators online okay so when you translate yourself your mind activates your mind uh, is given an exercise exercise of translating from your mother tongue into english and when you do this you are kind of becoming more uh, close and familiar to the english language and that's how it brings the knowledge of the different uh, things and, no, and, the, and, the, and the knowledge of the different words in english language and when you know the words when when the situation arises you would be able to speak them up so that's how you won't stop anywhere and you will be fluent while speaking english okay this gives an exercise to the brain and consistent translations in your mind or alone or if you're doing it alone or you're doing it with somebody will help increase the knowledge of the english and it will help increase the fluency of english so these tips are really really crucial to follow to learn how to speak english fluently and these are very simple and very basic ones so you don't have to do any kind of you know over and complex things to learn english um, and to learn to speak it fluently so i hope you have really enjoyed these tips and i would request you to please follow them for a period of 15 to 20 days after 15 to 20 days there will be a whole new you know um transformation in the way you're speaking english 
so that's all for today's video guys i hope you really enjoyed the video i hope the information that i have provided would really help you and i request you to please do not give up after three days you just follow these things for two to three or five days just keep consistency consistency bring brings great results so don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video and share it with your people until next time take care and i'll see you soon bye bye